What's going on, guys? Levi's here with me. He's all mic'd up. Mm? Say hi to everybody, Levi. Hi. <laughs> I just waved. He's pretty excited about being on camera. Um, so we're, we're racing the weather a little bit here. It's been thundering all around us, expecting it to rain. If it rains, the shop will get loud. We're doing some pretty simple stuff. I got the bed on already. Yep. I cut out this area up Wait. here where this crossbar goes. So I cut all that out. I got to trim it up a little here Maybe. and then a little bit Maybe. over there on the edge where my finger is. But what we're going to do today is we're going to get this fuel cell mounted up. We're going to get the lines ran to it, get it powered again. That way the fuel system's all finished and we got the fuel cell in the truck. So that's what we're working on. Levi's going to use the drill, drill some holes, right? You want to use some pliers? Yeah. All right, I guess, maybe. Um, so anyways, let's get to it. Let's figure out where this fuel cell is going to go. Make sure everything's going to work good for us. And get that done. Ready, Levi? So I can't see under here, and there's fuel lines. So I'm trying to make sure I don't hit them. Did you hear it? Did you hit a cell line? I hope not. Yes. Nope. Yes, you cut out a hole. Cut yeah. out a hole. So are we going to do another one over here? Nope. That was the only hole we needed to do for now. Oh. Order. Right there. <gasps> All right. So we went ahead and drilled a hole over there in that corner, ran these fuel lines through. I need some vacuum hose so I can build a little grommet to go there. Um, we were grounded right here to this cross member. So I'm going to take both those off and we're just going to take our ground straight to our grounding lug for our battery. And then our positive, the wire runs back to the relay, so we'll have to bring it forward. Um, so the biggest issue we're having is our straps, they're set up for the way the truck used to be with the fuel cell under the bed. So I had the bolts coming up from the bottom of these straps bolting into this. Well, we're gonna go the opposite direction. We're gonna put the nuts on here and we're gonna bolt through that way. So my thought is, if I'm gonna go through the trouble of cutting these off and getting new nuts, Let's build new straps that are a little better length and going to fit this system a little better. So we're going to work on that. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. I may end up, these fit really well, like in there. I don't know. Yeah, they fit really well in there too. So what I'll probably do is build two straps and then connect them and make it where maybe out here there's a bolt and out here there's a bolt. Um, so put little ears on them so they reach out a little bit. I think that might work better. It would definitely be nicer for welding onto here or uh, bolting onto here. And then these will just get placed underneath. Bolts will run through. And then next time we put the truck on the lift, we'll just get under there and just tack these onto the truck. That way they don't move. So if we ever got to take the fuel cell out, it's real simple. Just unbolt it from the top and you're done. So yeah, we're gonna run a Home Depot. We might pick back up on this today. I might wait until tomorrow because it is raining. So. This shop's getting kind of loud. All right, so we got the fuel cell in. We moved the truck. I wanted to pull the Duramax in today, but that didn't happen. So anyways, this is back over here. Fuel cell's in. Uh, we had to redesign these brackets a little bit, make them work. We're gonna get the truck up in the air so we can tack the nuts on underneath. Um, the fuel lines are ran through that hole. This is also where the power's gonna come in. Um, I don't have a grommet that big, and I was out of vacuum line, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of vacuum line, measure it as big around as that hole is, split it down the middle, and then RTV it on there, and that'll make a nice little grommet. Uh, we also gotta get these lines off, these ground cables. We gotta build a new ground cable for this, and we gotta run the power wire. So I'm gonna take the truck up, I'm gonna tighten the bed up, then we're gonna work on these 
electrical stuffs. So right now, these brake lines, I'm just trying to get them up here, uh, make sure everything's good to go on that. We got two brake lines, one in the back, one in the front, because we got four calipers. My calipers are tight, these are tight. I already tightened this, so all that's good. What we gotta do is this is our power from our relay. So we're gonna have to splice in here. See right here? So we're gonna have to splice that. Then it's gonna run up through this hole too, go up to the fuel pump. And then we're gonna pull this bolt off, or this nut off. Then we're gonna put a ground here, run that up to the pump. And then we just gotta get these off back here. There's a ground on each side because originally I was gonna run two pumps. So there's a ground on each side. What are you doing? I touch this I hand. So we'll get these off, um, get that power wire run, get that ground wire run. We're gonna get these zip tied and up out of the way. Oh, and then we gotta tighten up bolts. There's a bolt here, bolt here, and two up there. We gotta run those tight. So we'll do that first, and then we'll continue wiring. All right, so we're hooking up the fuel pump. That's what we're doing today. I got the ground wire on yesterday. I hooked it up, like I said, to this main ground lug. I ran it through there, so we'll have to pull it through. Now we just gotta hook this guy up. So I gotta get my strippers, strip that. We'll slip this on there, run this up. Then we'll look and see if I have any more of this loom. I think I do somewhere. Hopefully I do, and then we'll slip a big section off it probably won't come down this far i'm not too worried about it because it's going to be up here and just go to that hole but uh yeah i'm still going to try and cover it up make it look decent so we got to find something to cover that stuff up So I don't have any loom, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wire these up for now, and then we'll get split loom, and we'll run it down these wires, zip tie them to the fuel lines. It'll be good enough. It sucks. I thought I had some more of this. I might have given it away. I don't like holding on to stuff too much. So we're going to go ahead and heat shrink all these. This is kind of the last thing to do because we don't have everything we need. Um, so you want to make sure that you're going to use some form of connector that you can seal up these heat shrink connectors. I like them a lot. All right, so I went ahead, pulled those ground wires off. We got all this uh, heat shrunk too. So we're gonna go ahead and zip tie this wire up. Then we're gonna zip tie these wires up. 
get this ground wire hooked back up, and we're done. We're done with the rear suspension project and the fuel cell. So that's pretty exciting. We can finally check something off this truck again. Um, hoping to have it running by the end of the year. I'm not real sure if all that's going to happen, mostly because of a tune. We got to get with our buddy William Bailey about getting a tune. All right, guys. So that's it. The bed's back on the truck. The suspension's all finished up. Um, it does ride a little lower than what I wanted, but we'll just let the wheels uh, wear in the flares. They'll be fine. Um, all the wiring's done. Got it put up out of the way. Looks good. That's for the tail lights and brake lights. And then the uh, fuel pump stuff. Like I said, we got to build a grommet to go here. A few other small things, but I'll do those all off camera before the next video. The next video, more wiring. We're going to get the seat out in the next video and we're going to figure out where we're going to put the new computer, the new relay board, all that kind of good stuff. So stay tuned for that. We're switching up ECUs. I'll explain why in the next video. We'll see you guys then.